those who wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Hallelujah. That word wait means to serve. I know y'all are servants of the Most High God. I know that God is doing something in the earth that's special. I know that our lifestyles are real fast. Isaiah 55 say, just wait and listen a minute. You'll be able to receive of something that won't cost you any money. You'll be able to, to buy and not cost you anything. And the Spirit of the living God is so real and so anxious tonight to move upon you as His people to bring a manifestation of His presence that will be life-changing for you and I. We are in a season that has been orchestrated by God. I believe the season is so pungent with the fragrance of the Holy Spirit so alive with God himself in the person of the Holy Spirit that a lot of the church don't know what we're talking about. But I'm not willing to sit back any longer and not go and flow with God. Shandala baka shaka baha shandala baka shata. Yondolo boko shi ala bakandala baha ye shi ala baha ye. Yondolo baka shata la baha ye yala baho ye. Yondolo baka shata la baha ye. Yondolo baha ye shi ala baha ye. Yondolo baka shata la baha ye. The Spirit of the Lord would encourage you. It's not over yet, it's just begin. You see, the Spirit of the Lord would encourage the men and women of God to rise up, come forth out of your point and place of depression, arise according to the Word of God, and come forth in the power and presence of God. But you must experience and be not afraid of the Holy Spirit of the living God to be able to flow and let Him take you to a new level, says the, the Spirit of God. There, it, it is a deception of the devil to get men and women afraid of the supernatural. God is supernatural. You're made in His image. I know you're in the flesh, but you're a spirit alive and pungent with God. The old has passed away if you've known Jesus as Lord and Savior, and the new is God that lives within you. He has equipped you to flow in the realm of faith so that you can actually go beyond your human limitation. The only vehicle we have to get there is faith to take you beyond your human limitation. The church has been afraid of that, thinking it was mystical. It's not mystical. It's a God thing. God wants us to arise to a new place with Him. Who wants to prophesy a little? I will. See, we've, we've limited the gifts of the Spirit so much in the church. People don't even know or are not comfortable flowing in it. So, a great awakening, a divine awakening is upon us. Nations are going to be changed in this season. Glenda was there when Haiti began to change with a million people denouncing Satan off of Haiti and acknowledging Christ is the only one. It doesn't make any difference about your doctrine. It makes a difference about your faith. Ephesians, it says that we will come together in the unity of the faith. The faith of what? The faith of the Son of God that will overcome the world system 
that tries to put everyone down in deception. Listen, let me tell you tonight, this is not just another little service, guys. This is a release of the anointing of God to bring about divine order in the church to bring us to a new level of understanding and a new level of encouragement and a new level of power released from heaven. And so it will empower us to be the men and women of God we've been called to be. Shake yourself, the Spirit of God says. Don't listen to the devil anymore. God's called you, set you free, and he will release you. He has equipped you. And let me tell you what. All, everything we need, Bobby Padilla. Every dime, every cent, every encouraging word, every door is fixed and swing wide open because the world is hungry for the God we know. Amen. We have to be willing to change and get out of our comfort zone, they used to say. Why I'm saying that we as men and women of God have to open our hearts and our minds up to the freshness of the Holy Spirit to bring us to new levels of understanding. Not be afraid. I am not afraid. I am not embarrassed to stand up here and begin to prophesy in the name of the Lord because God said we're, we're all to prophesy, you see. It's just been quenched and set back and people not knowing how to flow. I don't care if you make a mistake in this church because I got the guts to correct you. <laughs> what I'm saying, it is time for the church to break out and come up to a level. He said, you've been seated in heavenly places with the one Christ Jesus. Well, what happened to the seat? If we've been empowered by God, where is the power? I'm going to tell you the power is within every believer, and it's been chained up because of fear, wrong instruction. It's been chained up because of an opinion. It's been chained up because some theologian taught that the gifts of the Spirit and the power of God passed away a long time ago. I'm telling you, the power of God in 2010 has been released to change the world, but it's got to change you and me first. You see, the power and presence of God is here tonight to bring change. We had people sitting in the congregation last night. I believe four people sitting there when we just spoke it to be baptized in the Holy Ghost begin to speak in other tongues. They begin to speak in other tongues as it's baptized sitting in the pew. That, do you know what? I believe that was either 10 or 11 in one week in this church baptized in the Holy Ghost. Don't tell me there's not a move of God. There's charismatic churches that go for years, don't get anybody. I'm telling you, there is a change in the earth, and God brought it. You, you, are y'all listening to me? Oh, I thought you was. <laughs> is that prophecy? It ain't over yet. Get yourself up here. Prophesy a while. Prophesy. I know you can correct me, so I'm not afraid of you. Can y'all hear her? Hold on a minute. Stay right there. I'm going to get it. I'm coming. We, we got too much going on to get up here. We got to run. Just don't get in front of that speaker. You know, if you're willing, if you're here and you're hungry and thirsty and you're really willing, just really willing, this is an impartation. This is time when God is going to impart something to you, and you won't be the same. You won't think the same. Incomprehensible. You won't think more than you can ever imagine. And you may get up in the night, and you may be so drawn to that word that you can't put it down. And you may hear him come up out of you. Just share it with us. But don't be afraid. Okay, let me tell you something. I want to encourage you. I don't know what's going to happen tonight, but I know something's going to happen. There's going to be people's lives changed forever tonight because of the presence of the Holy Spirit. 25 people in Kells Island in 1859 had been praying for two years. I've been to the church. 
It's a church building about 24 by 24. Get 25 people in it. 18 and 59. After